Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. So here we'll see how to use expansion tile to create this kind of design. You can click on them and expand as well as you can delete them. Well, to be able to make this kind of design, to be able to work with expansion tiles, first we have used list generated to create items. Now over here we are returning a map. So we have ID and for this ID we assign index and we create a dynamic title using the word item and the index itself. And the context over here pretty much fixed. We also change the context partly over here. We are inserting index so this way it looks like more dynamic. Now with this, this item would hold a list of map as you can see inside we have map. But in real life you'll get this data from server. There's list view builder as you can see and we assign the items length. We create a reference we, and we get a reference of these items using the item variable over here. Set so this card widget we are going to assign our expansion tile. Now here is our widget which is called expansion tile and it is inside the card as a child and if you hover over on it it wants you to add this record argument which is called title. So let's go ahead and save it and over here we see that we have this cards over here and as well as we have the title on the card itself but they are not visible yet so for this reason we are going to style our card and we see that there are items and individual cards now we want to be able to click on them and open item and as we click again we want to close them now to be able to do that inside this expansion tile right after this title we are going to assign another property which is called children now inside the children we have the text item as well as an icon button now the content for this text is coming from the item object that we created at the top over here just like the title and let's click on them and we already see that we have items showing up over here now at the same time we see that we have an icon now this icon is coming from this children inside because inside the children you can put as many items as you want so here i have an icon button definitely we can now go ahead and style this and to be able to style this right after this expansion tile over here we're going to put this property. This one is called children padding. So you can assign any kind of padding. Here we are assigning symmetric padding. And other one is how it should be aligned on vertical axis like this. Now, of course, we can change the this icon as well. We will to do that at the top. We'll set up more properties. One is called icon color. The other one is called collapsed icon color. Now we see the color changed to white, both in collapsed and open. We want to be able to click on them and delete an item, but now we can't. For this reason we'll come at the top and create a new method this is our new method and the method itself takes an id and this id refers to the numbers over here as you can see and we take the list and we, the list itself has a function which is called remove where so we look through the list and we take each of them and we see if the id matches or not if it matches then eventually it removes the item from the list after that we call the show snack bar function to show a message to the user now all we need to do go ahead and call this function now we can call it from here and pass the index so this is the index we will pass let's restart click on this it gets deleted click on this it gets deleted as well but it doesn't close automatically it should get closed automatically to make it closed automatically over here we need to set up a property which is called key and inside this we have to pass the card id let's restart now as you see it gets closed automatically